Hi, it's Susan from Escapes, and I'm here at a store. We're going to be discussing something that I think you're going to find really super interesting. So don't forget to like and subscribe on my YouTube channel. I am here in a store that is all about swimwear. So fashion, fit, what's new, what's trendy, everybody wants to know that. This store is called Swimco. It's a Canadian-owned company and we're going to talk with some of the staff here and learn a little bit about what it is that their their philosophy is and the goods that they sell in their store. There's ladies wear, there's kids wear, there's a complete selection of men's wear which I so did not know. There's hats, there's bags, there's hats that say bride to be, there's flip-flops, there's a complete line of skin care with um, body cream for if you have a, a sunburn, a lip balm, sunscreen, all kinds of things. So I would like you to meet Monica. Monica. Nice to meet you guys. Hello. <laughs> um, I'm very impressed with what it is that I see. You have a great uh, selection of goods here. I know I come here to buy my bathing suits because I like some or many women. Um, Buying a bathing suit is really a challenge. I'd rather have my teeth pulled than because <laughs> there's never been a time it's when not I've a fun stood. Feeling. It's yeah. not fun. It's it isn't fun because you seem to see all your figure flaws mm. when you're standing oh, in yeah. a, a dressing room. It's like, well, why can't I be thinner? Why can't I have more weight? Why can't you know it goes on and on. Oh yeah. But I think when someone comes here to buy a bathing suit, you go that extra step. You offer a service that not many offer. So what is your philosophy here at Swim Club? So Swim Club believes in you being you. We believe that you need to feel good half naked. That is Feeling our good half naked. I <laughs> that like That is it. our philosophy. We want everybody to feel happy in their own body. Um, we have product catering to everybody. We're inclusive to different body types, different styles. So we try to make sure everybody has something when they leave the store. And that's what we believe in at Zoko. I, I, that is a, excellent points, 100%. Because it's, it's challenging when a, a woman goes to a store, they don't really know what to put their hand on. Mm -hmm. Whereas you know the different fits and types of the under part of yes. the bathing suit. Not what you see on the outside, but all of the mechanics. So the girls here actually, um, each shift we try to try on new product that comes into store just to get an idea of how the fit is and then how the styles fit for each body mm -hmm. um, and that way we can actually help the customers see how it fits because we won't know how it looks like until we try it on right, right? that's a good thing so we try everything even if it's not going to fit us we'll try it regardless yeah. just to make sure it fits the customer at the end of the day so well, that's, that's yeah. interesting. So what is new and trendy now? What's hot? And so right now we're seeing a lot of one pieces. Um, two pieces are also really popular in like jewel tone. So this kind of color scheme has been really popular. Um, this complements almost every a lot of people, women's yeah. skin yeah, tone. It's, it's one of my nice favorite color. colors. Mm. Um, we're seeing a lot of like just solids. So we have a really nice um, Sea Folly basic set at the front of our store. Um, and that's been really popular right now. Um, and then uh, I don't know if you can see that like all the green tones like those stuff it's still mm -hmm. in like the jewel tone family um, that's so kind that's of a forest green yeah, almost. The forest yeah. Green. so mm -hmm. that's been really popular right now too so you see a little different styles coming in and going and what about for men is there a particular trend or do men just buy stuff in a medium you uh, know? <laughs> give it to me in a large for and I'm men's, good right now the more popular style is actually the shorter fit so before we saw a lot of people liking the long up to the right. knee style right now we're seeing a lot of men open to going shorter so we're seeing a lot of those like um, mid thigh kind of cuts right um, and then funky patterns are really popular too and then matching sets so that's really and fun. bathing suits that I think dry quickly yes. is key, and then maybe that have the um, sort of the internal um, like underwear. The yeah, well, most some guys actually don't like the liners, so we actually have an option um, for them. I don't have the right one here, but it's called sack. So this one is actually a liner that you can wear underneath in oh. their in their board shorts or whatever they want, and that's also quick dry. So if they don't want one, we can show them an option like that. Or if they do want one, we can show them an option like this. So they could buy um, shorts that didn't have the liner but choose to wear a, from a company yeah. called Sacks. Yes. So apparently this is really a well-fitting short. very comfortable. Short. A so lot of guys oh, that's love good it. That's good to know. <laughs> awesome. Mm. Good to know. So. As far as the care of a bathing suit, I know for me, I use this um, shampoo, I guess you could call it, as opposed to a detergent. Yeah, so it's shampoo, cleaner, 
Um, it's just a really gentle soap for your swimsuits. They're very delicate, um, so they break down very fast with certain minerals or chemicals. So you do want to wash it and use like a gentle soap afterwards, which would be this. Yeah. I do this, and I also do it uh, by hand. I don't put my bathing yes. suits in the washing machine because I do spend between $100 and $200 on my bathing suits, and so I'm wanting them to last as much as yes. I can, as long as I can. So is there um, a time frame where a bathing suit no longer has validity, or does it depend on how many times you go away? It really depends, because it depends on how often you use it, the care of it, all these little factors. So sometimes you can get a suit lasting for a year, but sometimes you can get it lasting for five, six, ten years. So it just depends on how you take care of it. Um, the best way is right after you use hand wash it in cold water and using like a gentle soap as well and then laying it flat to dry and not wringing it out. Um, oh, because laying it flat. Oh, well, yeah. I let it hang from the shower. You can do that as well, but I think it's it's a little bit more um, safer to put it flat okay. down because if you hang it, the excess water will pull it down. Oh, that's true. Right, I have so. thought of that. Mm -hmm. Now, I travel a fair bit, as you know. If you've been watching my channel, I'm away at least six times a year. Lucky, Lucky me. <laughs> I, I don't ever uh, feel apologetic for that, but it's, it's a good job to have. Mm -hmm. I find that my bathing suits max last two years. Yeah. And as I've said, I, I have spent $200 because I like to have a bathing suit that has structure within itself because mm. this is not like it once was. <laughs> so um, I do take care and I find that after two years. Now how I determine mm. a bathing suit's life is if it's sitting in the drawer and I'm thinking, okay, I do, I'm do. i going on holiday. I hold my bathing suit up to the light and if I can see through the oh, rear end, okay. it's done. In other words, that elastic has gone. Yeah. The other thing that I think is recommended for women is to try their bathing suit on before they pack it. Yes. Because there's something sometimes that happens in a drawer. You pull on that elastic and all of that um, spandex has disintegrated yes. and it becomes powdery. So unless you try it on at home, you're going to be in destination, try your bathing suit on and then go, oh my gosh. You had a lot of customers And, and then you, you don't have access perhaps to buy a bathing suit that you like when you're in destination. Mm. So try it on my opinion look at it in the light and if you can see through the rear end it's toast so yes. yeah now the other thing that i think is important are cover-ups mm -hmm. the reason being is because i work so much in a hot climate i'm usually working but there are times when i will have a few hours off so i'll have maybe three hours and travel agents know if three hours is like three days to us so we'll go swimming mm -hmm. and, but then maybe i have to combine lunch with it so i like to be able to put on a cover-up that resembles a dress as opposed to something that's extremely sheer. Yeah. I feel more comfortable when I'm in a, a restaurant, at a buffet, in an all-inclusive, meeting other people, going through the lobby, if my cover-up has a bit more consistency or looks like a dress. Like a dress, like something you can wear even for like an everyday scenario. They're just really easy to throw on and you don't have to worry about yes. packing more than you need to, right? Because you can use it for two-in-one. That is true. If you buy a cover-up that has double duty, that's good. I actually have a couple of cover-ups. I bought um, some here that <laughs> look like a dress and I've actually worn them out to dinner and then the next day you may see me pull it out of my bag and pull it over as my bathing suit. Yeah, yeah as yeah, a cover-up. That's a lot. That's really in trend right now. Just easy access cover-ups. Yeah. So. Yeah. And as far as the fit is concerned, how do you assist a woman who does have some issues that she's um, concerned about? Mm. Um, how do you assess how to better choose a bathing suit for them. Like, do you see them in the dressing room or do you discuss with yeah, them? Yeah, so before we get them into the fitting room, we try to figure out their si their sizing first. If they don't know, that's fine. We can get like a rough guideline. For myself, I try to get them into like a basic type of top and then get them into the fitting room to get a fitting, to better understand like their body shape and their style and then go from there. Um, so it just really depends on the customer though. So if they're open to showing us or not. And what about women that have had mastectomies? So we do actually carry options for mastectomy customers. Um, so we have tankini tops, um, one pieces, a lot of tops, as long as they have like a little insert, you can actually yes. use that as well for mastectomy. So we do have a few different options for that too. So Oh, that's yeah. good to know. I mean, there are many of us out there who require that yes. kind of assistance, so it's mm. good to know. So you also have um, kids wear. So yes. I think behind you here, I've got the, or a little, oh, the little. 
So what what can you tell me about this little so swim time? So Reusable cute, swim diaper, isn't that so cute? So instead of using like a regular diaper, like a disposable one, this one's actually designed for them to wear in the water. It has a moisture wicking material inside to help absorb any accidents. Any things that we know go on. <laughs> um, so they go by sizing, so they go from small to extra large depending on the, the size of the baby or the age. Yes. Um, yeah, so we carry them in the pink and the blue color as well. And I see you have blankets as well. Which we add, Yes, blankets or towels, we carry that too so they can use um, for while they're lounging around or they just need to throw it on. And I cool. see you have backpacks oh, yes. and you have a complete section of um, Snorkel masks. Yes. So all this um, goggles, some caps. So we carry a bit of everything for everybody. And flip flops, yes. of course. Baseball caps. Bags. Um, I think this is what I would call a one stop shop. If you wanted to plan to come to this store, I think for at least two hours, mm. you could leave here with. Uh, two new bathing suits, oh, yeah. a cover-up, a hat, a backpack, something for your children, um, something for your husband in case he doesn't want to shop be set because for your most vacation. men don't. Yeah, <laughs> and you would be set for your vacation in one bag. You would have everything that you needed, so that when you arrive at a resort, you're getting into your swimsuit and approaching the pool with maybe a bit more confidence. Um, if you know that you look good, and there's been times when I've purchased a suit here and I look in the mirror and I go, "Damn, I look good." <laughs> And I didn't feel that prior to arriving, so I know that um, you're in really super yeah. good hands here. That's our so, goal at the end of the day, to make sure you feel good. And you have a, a, a mantra that you live by with Swimco. What's yes. that phrase? So, it is feel good, half naked. Feel that good. That is our mantra, our, our store logo. Um, we believe by that saying, we always try to make sure our customers leave feeling good, half naked. That, that's our goal at the end I of the day. I think that's the coolest thing. And I see it dotted around the store. Mm. Your body is beautiful because it's yours. Meet me in paradise. Celebrate the life your body lets you live. Your body is beautiful because it's where you live. So um, I think this store probably is going to fulfill your needs. I see also you have some floaties. And oh yeah, we have a little bit of everything. Yeah. So. I'm hoping that you have enjoyed this video. Um, I've enjoyed actually speaking with yes, you. Thank you yes, so much. I, I have actually learned a lot and I'm sure that you have as well. So be sure to like and subscribe. And this is Susan from Swimco.